So it's, it's vitally important that we do get these cover crops into the ground. They take up the nitrogen. That nitrogen is then available to the next growing crop, which subsequently should mean that the crop that's in this field next year doesn't need the same amounts of, of fertiliser applied to it. Hi, I'm Mark Biddulph. I'm an Ag Advisor for Seven Trent Water. My role is effectively to get some positive measures in place within catchments such as this to help water quality. This is the burnt wood borehole that we're standing right next to now. We've, we've just established, um, with the help of this piece of machinery, uh, a diverse cover crop that will sit here over the winter, uh, absorb nitrogen into the plants and make sure that they don't escape into the groundwater and cause problems for the borehole. We, we chose the drone application method really because it's so invasive on the field itself. Besides the fact that we've walked around on this small area, we haven't touched the field at all. That means that the farmer won't have to come back in here and alleviate some of the problems that we've caused to the soil. The cover crop is here entirely as a, as a positive benefit, if you like, and that's really because it's been established via this drone instead of using heavy machinery. And the entire purpose of my role and, and Kath's role, my fellow advisor in Shropshire Middle 7, is to protect the water quality assets that are here. Staffordshire uh, relies heavily on the borehole sources. Those borehole sources can be under threat from things like nitrogen and any of the fertiliser that's been applied to this field to help grow this really valuable crop is going to escape over the winter if there isn't a green living plant to, to reabsorb it effectively. We're seeing loads more rainfall over the winter and short bursts, potentially warmer weather, which plays into the hands of cover crops slightly because everything that they can absorb into themselves, into the, the green growing plant, isn't going to leach downwards into the groundwater sources that we're, we're really close to here. So it's, it's vitally important that we do get these cover crops into the ground. They take up the nitrogen. That nitrogen is then available to the next growing crop, which subsequently should mean that the crop that's in this field next year doesn't need the same amounts of, of fertiliser applied to it. Just breaking that repetitive cycle of more is required, we lose more, more required by the next crop all the time. So get the cover crops in here, increase the organic matter in the soil, suck up that nitrogen, hopefully keep compaction to a minimum and start off on a really good foot for the next crop that's going to be in this field.